everybody welcome back to tammy talk so we are here today i wanted to do like a really really quick um recap of tonight's episode of black king crew chicago so this is season seven episode four always and forever um for starters um rest in peace to charmaine's dad who we know has passed away i don't know if they're going to cover her father's death on the show. But tonight was sad. You know, Charmaine was saying how this is, you know, her last time having her dad in her in her house. We know that her dad had colon cancer. And he wanted to, he wanted to go home to, um, he wanted to go home to die in his own, in his own house back in Louisiana. So rest in peace to him. Congratulations to four. Um, on the birth of his, uh, the birth of his baby forever. Why does four palm that woman's head? Have you ever noticed that he is like always palming Nina's head, but whatever. Um, real quick, if this is your second, third, fourth time here, you have not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. Leave some comments down below. Let's get into it. I really only want to talk about two things. One is, um, Ryan wondering why he is no longer in his godson's life. I get it, you know, you want to leave the kids out of it, you don't want the kids to suffer, but at the same time, you no longer have a relationship with that child's father. I'm assuming you no longer have a relationship with the child's mother anymore. Why are you shocked? Why are you shocked that he took his son and they left the party? Ryan is such a narcissist that... Yeah, you, you like you messed up. You did something wrong, but for you to just expe expect Anthony to just get over it and be done and move on, whatever, trash. So, this let's talk about this whole Charmaine, Drea, and and Kit, kaboom, that happened. So, for one, Drea should have never come back, right? Drea, you left in the first place. You didn't like the way Charmaine was running the shop then. You have not seen anywhere that the shop was being run any differently. So why did you even come back? Oh, I know why. You wanted to be on TV. Drea wanted to be on TV. There's no other explanation as to why she would, um, no other explanation as to why she came back to the shop. She wanted to be on TV. Drea is talking about how Charmaine isn't getting them any clients. You should have your own clientele. You're the tattoo artist. So, like, I've never liked Drea. I didn't like Drea last season. Drea comes across all the way wrong. But in this situation, she was not wrong. Charmaine was. Charmaine was in the wrong for how she handled both Drea and Kit. Um, Charmaine screaming that she's the boss. She's the owner. Girl, we know. We know, but we have seen numerous scenes on TV where Kit has reached out to you to try to extend herself to give you some help. If you feel that she's not doing what she was supposed to, why did you hire Kit? Because Kit wants to be on TV and I like Kit. I have never had a problem with Kit. I think that she got done. I think she was done extremely um bad on the New York series, but it's like you're over here in Chicago now and they're dragging your name through the mud as well. Girl, leave this leave the franchise. Y'all just do not want to be on TV this bad. The 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 way that Kit is allowing herself to be run through the mud to be on VH1 is is disheartening. Kit is the brand manager. She cannot brand manage if there's no one working in the shop. And this is where Charmaine is going wrong because the first thing Charmaine should have done was make somebody a manager. Now, if you want to make Kit a manager, have her as the manager just to run the shop under the guidelines and the rules and the stuff that you established. Let her run the shop on the days that you're not there, which seems to be often because you're dealing with personal issues with your father. And for all the people that are saying, Charmaine, that they're not being sensitive enough to Charmaine, that's bullshit. That's bull because Charmaine should not have reopened the shop or come back to the shop before she was ready. And that's what Charmaine did because why? Charmaine wants to be on TV. 
This is like this entire thing should not have happened. Charmaine is charging fifteen hundred dollars for booth rent. I don't know how much booth rent costs, but I feel that if I'm paying fifteen hundred for booth rent, then everything in the damn building should work. There should be Wi-Fi. Everything in the building should work. And for Charmaine to casually say, and that's why it's a router on the way. You can't go pick up a router. You can't run to the store and get a router. Doesn't your husband work in tech? That's bullshit. Charmaine knew that she was not ready to open this shop. She, and she's so busy screaming boss and manager. This is She's doing the same thing that Ryan did to her. And I don't know if she doesn't see it or if she feels like this is her getting like some type of sweet revenge or her karma coming back full circle. But Charmaine is like Charmaine is never there for Charmaine to just have random people popping in and out of the shop showing up randomly that no one else is hired. Why wouldn't you introduce the um why wouldn't you introduce the brand manager to the the new artists that are coming in? Kit needs to be connecting with them so she can do proper social media branding for them. So like she said, she can get banners and posters and business cards and all that stuff printed up for the tattoo convention. Charmaine sat up there and said on the last episode that she had no idea, like she didn't know what to do. She was overwhelmed. She needed help. But when Drea tries to help her or when Kit has extended to herself to, um, has extended herself to, to Charmaine time and time again that we have seen, mind you. Do we know what's going on off screen? Of course not. But from what we have seen, Kit is extending herself and Charmaine continually tells her she doesn't want anybody else's input. She's the boss. She makes these decisions. She like It's kind of like, girl, do you, are you more concerned about having a working operational shop or do you just want to be able to say, this is my shit? Because that's what it's coming across as. And I give for the people that's going to say Charmaine is going through a lot. We know. And we are sympathetic to that. But that also doesn't give you an excuse to be a bitch and to be blatantly wrong. The way that she handled Drea, firing Drea, and the way that she did was dumb. It was stupid because you didn't already, um, Drea is already going to be working with you at the tattoo convention. You know this. You fire your kid. So do you have branding? And then to turn around and say, oh, well, Kit doesn't do anything like that. I just feel like that's bullshit. I just feel like it's bullshit. So then we see on the preview for next week where um, Charmaine is, we see the preview for next week where Charmaine is, is bad-mouthing Kitty to Caesar who said that she, you know, she wasn't doing that type of managing. And it's like... <sighs> Why is Kit on the show? I think that's really what it comes down to. That's really what it comes down to. If you're not, you're no longer working with Second City, you're no longer, you don't work for Nine Mag, we see later in the um the season in the trailer, we see that you get into it with Ryan because Ryan is saying how they not cool because of some goofy shit that happens. And it's just kind of like, what is going on here? And this is kind of why I feel like Black Ink has run its course. Because now y'all are pulling shit out of thin air just to keep these people on TV. We don't really see tattoos like that. We saw the one tattoo tonight. The one client that we've seen Drea have, even though she's been crying, talking about how she has people flying in and out and none of her none of her artists, none of her clientele is from Chicago. You, you had somebody waiting for four hours. That, that woman must have really wanted to be on TV. That's all I get from it. To get them like lame as, that lame as little solar system tattoo. What is going on here? This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous, Charmaine. You can't be a boss if you don't know how to delegate. You can't be a boss and run a tattoo shop if you don't know what the hell you're doing. Upon opening that shop, it should not have just been let me hire Kitty for branding. It should have been let me get a manager to run the day to day because I can't do it because I'm a mother. And I'm working 
and I, I'm dealing with my father who needs, you know, my attention and my care. Like, this is, this is stupid. This is honestly and truly stupid. If you have not already, go ahead, subscribe to my channel. Um, <laughs> I am Tammy. Um, I'll catch y'all next week, maybe. Maybe. We'll see what happens.